Baton Rouge, stand up, nigga. I do this for my city. So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. About the economic conditions of the air, but a beauty in the struggle. You, you don't have beauty without a beat. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. <laughs> Very good, Victoria. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. And I want to represent Black Oak Academy. You have just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world. You seem quiet today. No matter who wins. Just thinking it's too just much. Just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I, I hear that. Want to know that this wanna go grab a cup of tea and life. bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure.
Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Yeah, you Welcome always to the cute. real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Yeah, yeah. 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 Because Max wants everybody to see how good she is. Yeah. He plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant plant. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. <sighs> now who would bother to write that crap? Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. As he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light 
to shadow. From color... Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit! Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller? Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? I did it. Can you give I me actually an did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human the human time machine. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't Hi, freak Arvis. out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally. When I took my selfie, Jefferson so asked me a question. So if he does again, I'll, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful <laughs> photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can since tell. The early 1800s. Your generation. So I can go back in time. For selfie expression. <laughs> What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? <clears throat> I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me what after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again process and give him the right answer? Fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s. Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. In class. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Even if you're submitting your... I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that Life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. That's so okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. 
leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Wow, sir. So I need a hammer to break it open. You me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. We're going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be...
Everybody got their wish. This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow, I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. So bizarro to be back here after five years. I thought I could just fit right back in at school. But with all this shit going on, I'm even more an outsider. And who can I confide in besides my journal and my camera? Man, these are supposed to be the best years of my life. This is what it's like to be alone and feel lonely at once.